For decades, hydraulic power steering systems were the norm. However, in recent years, the auto industry has been shifting to electric power steering. Let's talk about why that's been happening. Electric and hydraulic power steering systems work very differently. Hydraulic power steering uses hydraulic fluid supplied by a belt-driven pump to assist in turning the steering wheel. Electric power steering, or EPS, is a non-hydraulic system assisted by an electric motor, operated by a software-driven control module. As we're about to see, EPS is a much smarter system that offers a number of advantages over hydraulic systems. One of the key advantages is fuel economy. Because the hydraulic power steering system is belt-driven, it's placing a continuous drag on the engine. Conventional hydraulic power steering systems produce about 250 psi of pressure, even under a no-load condition. Under a high load, like during parking maneuvers at slow speeds, these pressures could get as high as 1500 psi. By contrast, EPS is only active when the steering wheel is turned, which reduces the load on the engine. That provides a boost to fuel economy compared to hydraulic systems. Another major advantage of EPS is maintenance. Conventional hydraulic systems typically need regular maintenance such as power steering flushes. Some hydraulic systems also use a separate drive belt that needs to be serviced. With EPS, none of these maintenance procedures are necessary. And there's the related issue of leaks. Like any system that uses fluid, leaks can occur anywhere in a hydraulic power steering system as seals, hoses, and reservoirs wear out over time. That not only creates more potential failure points, but it also can be harmful to the environment as leaked power steering fluid can make its way into our water supply. With EPS, there are no fluids, which means no leaks and no impact on the environment. The last advantage we'll discuss is driver comfort. Even though a hydraulic system reduces the amount of effort required to steer, the driver typically needs to make small, constant adjustments to the steering wheel to keep the vehicle on the center line. However, many EPS systems are smart enough to make these minor adjustments automatically so the driver can be more relaxed. In fact, popular ADAS features such as Lane Keep Assist, Parallel Park Assist, and Adaptive Cruise Control wouldn't be possible without electric power steering. Replacing parts of the EPS system is generally easier and cleaner than replacing hydraulic steering parts. However, your customers need to understand that most EPS units are not plug and play out of the box. EPS units require some form of initial calibration, whether it's a simple zero point calibration, which can be done with many professional scan tools, or flash programming, which is a bit more involved and requires a J2534 device along with a subscription for the OE manufacturer's flash software. Your customers should refer to the vehicle service manual to determine what calibration procedure is required. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.